As a Canadian, I might be a little biased when I say, Canadians have made some pretty cool shit. The light bulb, the telephone. Okay, well two out of three ain't bad. Okay, imagine this. There was a time in my childhood as a fresh DS owner that I really wanted a game by the name of Sonic Chronicles. I wanted Sonic Chronicles so badly. The hype was there for me and my best friend at the time. We were watching commercials for it on YouTube. We wanted the game. It looked pretty damn cool. The trailers made it look like this was gonna be an action-packed, story-based, handheld game. Awesome, we're there for it. <laughs> uh, uh, this game is making me sick already. So imagine how happy I was one Christmas morning I get a giant box full of stuff. I get an MP3 player that I used to record basically radio stories on, some nice Christmas PJs, Tetris DS, banger game by the way, and of course, Sonic Chronicles. I booted that game up and I was fucking confused. A top-down, almost point-and-click adventure-esque RPG with a whole lot of Comic Sans, stat-boosting chows, OCs, and stills to represent cutscenes. The game was often cryptic and nonsensical. Touchscreen gimmicks galore make it feel like a rhythm game. Osu, is that you? I remember getting stuck pretty early on and then dropping it. But it was Sonic! I love Sonic! I didn't pick it back up until I decided to grind and hammer that thing out. The story gets pretty crazy with some Ken Penders-esque alien echidna tomfoolery. It's convoluted and just bleh. Honestly though, I could put up with it so long as I could see it through to the end and you best believe I got stuck a couple times because just like point and click adventures of old, this shit can sometimes be directionless. So you force yourself to get through this game because you're a Sonic fan and, and you're still a kid and you think that every game that you're going to play is going to be great and you're going to love it and it's a good game, I just, I have to get better. Finally, after teaming up with Eggman via radio, traveling through outer space, you face the final boss in a gauntlet. When you beat him, you must make it back safe to Earth when... Right here marked the first time in my entire life where I was left upset, disappointed, and angry at a game's ending. And it actually taught me how to properly evaluate my opinions on a piece of media that I am consuming. Tails realizes we're all about to die and starts spewing info about the devs in an interactive credit sequence. <sighs> Fuck this game. But now my balls, balls deep in his bras, jaws swallow girl, it's just nud. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>